Hi, I'm Greg with Science Museum Oklahoma. I'm here in the Smart Space Galleries to show the connections between math and art that you find in STEAM. Now, Science Museum Oklahoma is an Allied Arts member organization, and here in Smart Space Galleries, you see some of the connections that we try to make between science, technology, engineering, and art and math. Today, we're gonna to talk about art and math with something called fractals. So, what is a fractal? Well, fractals are a beautiful piece of mathematics and art. That's two pieces of steam you don't usually see combined, but they look something like this. Now, if you check closely, you'll notice fractals are a repeating pattern, but not repeating like a checkerboard. They're repeating at a different size. So you see a big pattern, and then if you get out your magnifying glass and look at one of the other pieces, you may notice the big pattern gets repeated again at a smaller scale, and again at even smaller scales, over and over and over. Let me show you how you can make one. Get a pencil and a piece of paper. If you draw a triangle on this piece of paper, and then you split this triangle by putting another triangle inside. Split these by putting another triangle inside, and another triangle inside, and keep going until you get smaller and smaller. You will see that the little pieces look just like the big piece, and you can keep going. If you get your magnifying glass and a really sharp pencil, you can keep going and keep going and keep going until your pencil isn't sharp enough to go anymore. That is a fractal. Science Museum Oklahoma, with the support of the Oklahoma Arts Council, is bringing you an exhibit right now called Screens by Jeffrey Hicks. It uses a lot of screens and other technology, like cell phones, that I'm gonna show you today, to create some beautiful art. So the art that we have with fractals uses art and mathematics. It was actually created by a guy named Mandelbrot, a mathematician, and some of these pictures are beautiful like this one. Well, here's one more you can try. If you've got your cell phone and you've got a mirror, you can point your cell phone, set it on selfie mode, point it at the mirror, and you see the image of the cell phone in the mirror. Or if you get two cell phones, it's really cool. So you point one cell phone at the other cell phone, put them both on selfie mode, and this cell phone shows you a picture of this cell phone. This cell phone's image has this cell phone in it which then has this cell phone's image and this cell phone's image going on and on and on. Snap a picture and then start to zoom in and you see the cell phones continue, well, until the pixels are too small to see another one. It's kind of cool. Now, the beautiful thing about mathematics and art is mathematics allows us to explore the infinitely small or the infinitely large, things that we can't see in our normal experience and so, Try one of these fractal art things, explore some of them, look at them with magnifying glasses, and let your imagination soar all the way to infinity.